Hello! I really appreciate you taking the time to review our waterway rain screen stucco assembly. This video animation provides a step-by-step -step overview of an enhanced Portland cement plaster incorporating our waterway rain screen drainage mats, stucco base of polymer modified cement, fiberglass reinforcing mesh, and stucco flex breathable elastomeric acrylic finish. This system answers an increasing demand for improved envelope integrity, extended service life, and reduced potential challenges associated with water penetration. Let's take a look. Okay, we'll start with your typical framed wall in a standard window opening. We're going to install 9 inch wide strips of weather resistive barrier. This is a requirement of the code and also ensures a proper lap of your weather resistive barrier across the entire wall. In the opening, we want to place an L bar. This will create a backstop against water penetration towards the interior walls. Now we're going to install Therm Flash, a butyl based flexible flashing. This is going to create our sill pan in that opening. Optional watertight corner guards can be incorporated. We install Therm Flash at the jams, wrapping from the weather resistive barrier into the opening. This creates additional protection and supplements the waterproof sill pan. Therm Flash is a butyl based product that's 100% waterproof. It's also self healing with fastener penetrations. We'll add additional strip at the top of the opening. And now we're ready for our window installation. We want to apply sealant to three sides of the opening and across the face of the L bar. The window is placed into the wet sealant and properly attached. Therm flash is used to seal the nailing flange of the window. And now we're ready for our head flashing. Sealant is applied to the top of the window and the flashing is placed into the wet sealant. Additional therm flash will seal the flashing itself. Now we place a sill screed at the bottom of the wall and we're ready for our weather resistive barrier. Generally two layers of weather resistive barrier. Also not depicted here, normally you want to offset the seams and laps from your second layer from those of your first. Once the weather resistive barrier is installed, we're now ready for the waterway rain screen drainage mat. This is placed over the entire wall surface, tight with the window. Casing bead with weep is then installed at the top of the windows. and casing bead without weep is installed at the jams and the sill. You'll notice the casing bead is held back from the window approximately 3 eighths to a half of an inch. This allows for a proper sealant joint installation that'll happen later in the video. Now we want to place casing bead with weep at the bottom of the wall. In multi-story construction, you'll need a plate line detail we have available for you. Next will be the control joints. Control joints are very important to cement stucco. They help to alleviate the stresses and ultimately minimize the likelihood of cracks. 
The rule of thumb is every 150 square feet of wall surface. You'll notice that we caulk the intersections of the metal accessories. This is to help seal them and preventing water penetration behind the stucco. Once the control joints have been installed, now we're ready for the metal lath or the woven wire. Normally a 2.5 metal lath or a 17 gauge inch and a half wire. Now we're ready for our scratch coat. The scratch coat should be forced down into the metal firmly. Once the scratch coat starts to firm up, we want to put a horizontal rake in that scratch coat. That's going to provide a key for the brown coat. The brown coat should be pressed firmly into that key and it should be installed at a thickness equal to the control joints and the casing bead. The brown coat should also be darbied or rotted off creating a nice smooth wall surface. Now we're ready for the stucco base, the polymer modified cement, and the fiberglass reinforcing mesh. This step provides a multitude of benefits. It reduces the likelihood of efflorescence, the white powder we see from time to time in stucco jobs. It also creates a uniform porosity or suction across the wall. This is very advantageous to the appearance of the finished coat once it's installed. It also creates a much smoother wall surface. Certainly that's important in larger jobs and also in critical light conditions. But most importantly, this step will reduce the likelihood of cracks. The combination of fiberglass reinforcing mesh and polymer modified cement helps to distribute the stresses and prevent cracking. It also strengthens that exterior surface of the brown coat. The base coat mesh layer will dry in 24 hours and then we'll be ready to install our sealant joints. The sealant joint is going to start with the proper sized backer rod placed into the opening. It should also be placed at a uniform depth within the opening. Sealant is then installed. Normally we're looking at urethanes or silicone sealants in a color similar to the finished coat. Another important part of a sealant joint that sometimes we do not see is tooling of the wet sealant. This is very important. It assures positive contact on each side of the joint. It also supports a proper geometry of the joint, increasing the life expectancy. Now we're ready for the stucco flex, breathable elastomeric acrylic finish. This provides color, texture, and a weathering membrane. We offer four aggregate choices for limited textures and over 10,000 colors. Most importantly, this product provides maximum crack bridging ability. And this will complete the installation. Inevitably, over the service life of the building, we're going to have water penetration. Somewhere along the lines, water's going to get behind this. So for the purposes of demonstration, let's go ahead and take the sealant joint out. And let's also take the backer rod out. Now let's take a look from the side and see how the waterway rain screen drainage mat can support the movement of liquid water. Like I say, be it surface tension or pressure, inevitably water is going to get past that stucco. 
Water penetration is one thing, but water penetration without a mechanism to drain that water and ventilate that wall, accelerated consequential damages occur. Rain screen map provides an uninterrupted path for water drainage. It also allows for ventilation of moisture laden air. Extremely viable concept. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you'd like additional information, please contact StuccoFlex at 800-305-1045 or check us out on the web at stuccoflex.com. Thank you very much. Have a great day.